There's a commi committee member who is thinking about big decisions in the portfolio, and that's Jason Snipe. Jace, um, you own Twilio, Shopify, maybe, maybe some others. I'm wondering how you're thinking about those stocks that have been sitting there with a lot of red all over the place. Yeah. Yeah, so Josh makes a great point here. Obviously, a lot of these names have been feeling pain since part of early last year, but a lot of it really started to happen in November. I think what's important to note here is you've got to right size some of these names. You know, so for me, on a Shopify or a Twilio, you know, a block, some of the names that you reference, you know, the business model is, the, is what you need to believe in. But I'm not saying to be pouring into these names at this point because I think a lot of them are still trying to find a bottom. They're trying to find support levels. You know, obviously, we, we've talked a lot about, you know, from a policy perspective, where we're going, you know, taking the oceans of liquidity out of the market and moving into a tightening cycle and the impact that has on, on uh, high multiple names like the ones we just talked we're talking about you know so yeah for me th this is this has been just right making sure I'm right sizing the portfolio and the barbell for me you know going forward has been more of the cyclical oriented names and mega cap tech because you still can't abandon growth even though names like Microsoft are 11 percent off its 52 week high so starting to look at some of them you know Shopify is another one you know over 40% off its 52-week high, down 25% year-to-date. So they can look appetizing, um, but you have to be careful in this market where we're all multiples um, and valuations are starting to be reset. Sure. But, but Jace, I mean, look, uh, I, don't, I think we need to forget about the question of pouring in. It's now a question of whether it's time to pour out. I think that's the crux of Josh's argument, is, is using bounces like today not to ask yourself the question of, hey, is this so attractive that I need to buy more of a stock that I've loved, but taking advantage of a situation to repurpose and rebalance some of the names that you have loved for so long and simply have to come to the realization that they're never going to get back to where they once were. Yeah. I mean, it's a great point, Scott. And I think even as we look at the ARC names, you know, one of the things that Kathy Wood always talks about is your time horizon. You know, where are you? On that, on that, on that trajectory. So, is it the five-year time horizon or is it a one-year time horizon? Those are very different stories. You know, so it, for an example, a name like Twilio or a name like Shopify or a name like Block, you know, the 12 month going out might that might be a trade that might be an opportunity to get out and you, on a bounce like this. You know, we have seen some of these intraday bounces, you know, over the last several days, and and then trading lower at the end of the day. So it could be an opportunity, but I think. It's important to right size and also look at your time horizon, you know, from an investment perspective to be able to make these types of decisions.